Hi guys, Jeremy Fragrance here. Best Creed Aventus clone. This fragrance right here is commonly known as the best Creed Aventus clone. I'm talking about Club de Nuit Intense. And I had this fragrance since a long, long time, but I want to dive into it and see if people are right and if it's really the best and if you should buy that at all. By the way, if you want to see Lara's reaction to Club de Nuit Intense, which was pretty good, you can see this video right here. At the end, I'm doing the Club de Nuit Intense and you can see it's at least two years old, that video. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to apply Club de Nuit Intense first and tell you what I think, since I obviously know this one in and out, and tell you what I think about this. Oh man, they even included this type of, like they did in the Creed. Now that's really much cloning that stuff. But let's give it a shot. Okay. And I even heard that this fragrance has been reformulated, so let's see. Okay, Club de Nuit Intense. Smells very acidic, not so tarty, more citrusy than the Aventus. But from my testings in the past, I remember the performance of this is incredible. And we're talking about a high complaint level with me because even I, when somebody has this fragrance on himself and I just smell the sillage of him, meaning the smell, the scent bubble around him, I don't think I will recognize the difference between these two. So yes, it absolutely goes absolutely in the direction of Aventus. And now when it settles down even more, but actually I absolutely do notice a difference already. This smells more rugged leathery and this smells more citrusy acidic. Okay, but I heard and I know from my past experience with this, the performance was actually better than with this. But I also read that they have different formulations and, and I even heard that the owner of the brand or something was going on with the brand. I don't know exactly, but that they wanted to discontinue it or not. I don't know, man, but let's just see and I tell you if it's good or not. So let's do the original. Now when I sprayed so many sprays, it also sprays, smells a little bit acidic. Yeah, but clearly, absolutely clearly, this smells more leathery, rugged, and this smells more citrusy, acidic. But similarity factor, 80% easy. For an amateur nose, 90%. So I'm going to see which of these lasts longer. I don't encourage you to buy cheap, I don't encourage you to buy clones because that's not cool. It's like you, you are the owner of Creed and I encourage you to buy a fragrance that clones yours. You wouldn't like that, right? That's just not right. And we all know that it's not right. But not Creed comes first, not Club de Nuit comes first, my viewers come first. And I at least, at least want to inform you what's out there in the market. So I'm going to see the performance of these two. And also write down your experience. What to you is the best Creed Aventus clone? I wanted to make a little timeline of a hierarchy of fresh fragrances. In case you didn't know, to me, the original gangster is Platinum Egoist, which already went in the direction of Aventus. Easy 20 years ago. Easy 20 years ago. What came after Platinum Egoist? After Platinum Egoist, we had 212 Man by Carolina Herrera, where you could say that that was inspired by that one. 
Now what came just about three years after this, I don't have it, but Abercrombie and Fitch fears. What came after Abercrombie and Fitch fears? Creed Aventus and Bleu de Chanel. And they do know what's out there in the market. And I feel Bleu de Chanel, the Chanel guys were like, come on, let's do something that also the youthful people like, like, and like a fierce, they do like the fierce, fierce was very hyped. And I also think that Aventus was not inspired by fierce, but at least let's say the Chanel. So in life, you generally always are inspired by other things. That's how you learn. Even Leonardo da Vinci, when he painted a dragon, I think of one of the first people that made it in a really cool way, he was inspired by lizards. So you have to be inspired by stuff. But what came after Aventus? You know what came after Aventus. Dior Sauvage came after Aventus. And when I smelled Dior Sauvage blindly the first time, a guy on a party sprayed a sample and asked me, hey, what do you think about this fragrance? I had no idea. I absolutely thought he was wearing Creed Aventus. Unbiased opinion, that was my first impression. So you could say that these guys also have been inspired by the success of the Aventus, a little bit of the Bleu de Chanel. And at the same time, who was inspired by this? Prada Luna Rossa Carbon, Coach for Men Eau de Toilette. Can you say my fragrance, Office for Men? Of course, I know what's out there on the market, but I also like the Prada Lom. So you learn and you try to get better and better and better. But coming back to this video, we will see how good Club de Nuit Intense is. Yeah, it's very, it's, it smells now pretty, pretty synthetic, yeah. Yeah, it smells like, it smells very one-dimensional, like just a coat of synthetic citrusy acidity that smells like Creed Aventus, whereas this feels like it has two or three dimensions and not only one. All right, but obviously you are paying just about $30 instead of $300. So I'm gonna keep it clean and I'm gonna keep it fair. Let me know what you think about the comparison of this and I love you guys. Bye.